you into my life or whatever. Forever, feeling like you could do better, better than me. I'm wishing OT, wishing you stay. Guys, with cheap FIFA 19 coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWNFIFA at checkout for 5% off. They sell Xbox One coins and PS4 at the moment, everything you can do, Comfort Trade, they're quite cheap as well right now guys, and they'll be cheapest in the future throughout the whole of FIFA. Comfort Trade, obviously fast, quick and easy and reliable, um, so player auction, anything like that guys you can use. They have plenty of coins available in stock and always will have, so make sure you check them out. They also have other stuff guys, like um, Diablo 2, um, Pokemon Go, League of Legends, other stuff like this, and you can even sell your coins to them. So say you finish playing FIFA now and you want to sell your coins to them, they'll give you a great rate for your coins guys, so make sure you check out out the link in the description and use Mill Factory for five percent off using own FIFA. Hey guys, welcome to OSD. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Bit of a weird video today, so a bit of an annoying one because of what's actually happening at the moment um, on the market. Um, some guy has actually decided to go and get himself an auto bidder, which is really, really frustrating and pretty sad to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much tra trading has became very difficult. If you look here, for example, at Thorgan Hazard, you look through, it looks 62k on the bid, 62k again. Basically, every bid that's below that price is bidding on like this, and there's so many other players like it. I mean, you look at Jamie Vardy here, it's another prime example, pretty much, is Jamie Vardy. Um, so, we'll go and have a look at him now. I mean, he's pretty new into packs as well, but I mean, there's not, I mean, he's not new, but like, I mean, there's a fair amount in the market. Look, I mean, there's enough there, and you see, look here, you go through, and I mean, you just look through at the prices. Look, there's ones here, 41 minutes, they're 54 and a half K. They're bidding always up to that and all and there's no other bids up. There's another one there at 54 and a half. The same process on every player seems to be under 100k. They seem to be doing this on them. So let's do give another example here. Let's go and have a look at um, a few cards that might not be. What we're going to do now is pretty much going to try and look for players that aren't going to have this on. So you look at Koke in um, Champions League or players that is going to look outside the box now. You've got to think about this and look for players that aren't pretty much... Um, in this, so it's basically how to avoid the auto. So basically, 100k for the players I've done as well. How to avoid it? You see, a lot of these players now are all over 100k. I mean, if you start doing below 100k, they all have bids on. Like, um, let's just go and try and find some players now which do have the bids on. So let's just have a look at, um, for example, uh, Callahan. I think he's about 60 something k. No, it's 70 something k. Let's just check his price now. Um, no, so you have to ignore this one, of course. So um, let's just have. I mean, this one might even have it on as well. Who knows? 68k, 65k. So let's just go and have a look now here at 65k, and then oh, sorry, 68k, and then put in like 40k to avoid a lot of these Champions League ones. Um, you'll see here 68, 68, 65. Let's go have a look at the bid side of things now here. See if anything's happening on Callahan. So you see, there's not an, it's not enough price in him yet to do it. But there are players like these busy guys. There's no deal. Look, I know it's just a lot as well. If you do look on Twitter a lot, you'll see there's a lot of people that um, have realised this already. That it's so so hard. Um, and basically, you can't really buy anything at the moment um, on the market. So you might always be able to find some players yourself. If you do, well done. But um, I really have been struggling myself to actually find some. So it might be worth right now, guys, staying away from informed and looking at other players away from that. Sorry about that. Um, that's my store thingy. Football on at the moment. But yeah, just looking at certain players like Aspas and stuff like that as well earlier on. They're all bidding up to exactly the same price. Because he's basically set on what he wants to bid and knows exactly, like, Obviously, which players, and hopefully, in the end, gets a little involved in losing coins, it'll serve him right if it does. I mean, you look at Aspas here, I mean, this one's actually okay, the 86 Aspas. There's another player for you guys to go and trade with if you want to. This might be a deal. Let me just go check this right now. We might have found a player, guys, to go trade with if you want to. Um, 86 Aspas, we'll just check him on footbin now quickly here, and hopefully, he won't sell within. I know it takes about two or three minutes for him to obviously do it because he doesn't want to um, have this um, thing on but it was going to check his price it's about 52k 53k normally i think if you get an average bit from here it's over 64 at the peak of the day obviously about 50k so it's not a great deal but if we can just look through him find some bids for him and if we look at like 65k here you might have to see a similar story going with bigger informed stuff like that you might be able to have a look and just try and find some deals on each one of him so yeah, I mean, if you guys, let me know guys if you find some more players like this. It's not every player, but it's a lot of players that I used to trade with. I can't give them stuff in my head now because I've removed the um, list in like a rage, basically. I've just kept Hazard in there as an example. I mean, there are a lot of different players. If you find some more, let me know, like I say. But yeah, guys, I'm going to try get some more videos out regular. It might be trading with other stuff now, obviously, because of this kind of issue at the moment. I can't trade with other stuff. I'm going to check Vardy again now, see if any more Jamie Vardy's have been... Um, 
get it done yet or anything because the problem is with Vardy as well there's a lot of the fact that people are just bidding them at 55k now because people are seeing this up and they're like what there's bids at 54 and a half k on them so why don't we just bin them so that's making it a lot more difficult to find them now as well here so you'll see look he's, he's up at 56k now i mean he's been outbid on that one thankfully but um yeah you'll see people are just bidding up now to literally the buy now because of this issue because people are just seeing the market and they're like well that's surely a deal then like, if you go and find this Vardy it'll be on the market tonight guys this Vardy when this video is out go find it i bet you've got a bit of 54 and a half k on thanks so much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed please do drop a like leave a sub and i will try and get some videos out to you guys that aren't informed based because right now it's impossible to trade with them and i'll see you all next